while reducing overall costs. If our actions are successful, we standardize them, continue to look for ways to improve them, and then standardize the improved processes and so on, so we're continually doing things better each day. We then practice what we call Yokuten, which is Japanese for sharing best practices with others, so others can apply what we've learned and make improvements to their work as well. TIBP facilitates a further improvement of our competitive advantage, which is vital to Toyota's sustainable development. By following the TIBP process, it allows us to generate effective and efficient countermeasures to our problems, quick decision making, and ensure smooth communication. A few successes Toyota has had using TIBP include increases in our market share with our dealers, increases in our genuine part sales, and we've been able to negotiate better pricing with our vendors to lower our overhead costs and improve our profitability. All right, the, this process involves what we call an A3. A lot of you, are, uh, most of you are probably familiar with this. It's a, a description of the size of paper, a piece of paper. So you may have heard of this in this process, but the beauty is the simplicity of the A3. If you can find uh, and, and study and analyze an idea and then fit the entire business case and solution on a single piece of paper, it means you've done your homework. You thought of all the potential problems, narrowed it down to the root cause, and identified the best course of action. And it's a standardized format, so it can be understood by not only the group working on that particular project, but also everyone in the company who's been trained on this process will be able to follow it. Don't worry about trying to read this eye chart. I just want to give you a couple examples, real life examples that we've used with this A3 format. Here's one. It presents the case and solution for improved forklift operator safety awareness and safety training. And here's another one. Same format, same process. This is one that improves hotline call percentage rates. You can see there's some office environment areas that I know a lot of companies sometimes overlook that uh, you can use these A3 and TPS type of systems and improve in your office area. And our third example, <laughs> it's actually one of my favorites, it's an A3 to improve A3 completion rates. Did you catch that? I laughed too the first time I actually just presented this. Okay, well that really just proves there's no boundaries to how far we will go in our quest for continuous improvement. All right, keeping it simple and not a 30 page report is very important. I agree with this great quote from Einstein. Even if you are the subject matter expert, the ability to summarize it in one piece of paper truly means that you understand it, right? All right, I've talked about a lot today, so let me recap a few things and wrap it up. First, to create a culture of continuous improvement, remember the three E's. Educate, engage, empower your associates. Second, we talked about consistency. Consistency is key, doing it every day. We talked about daily meetings to reflect and improve what happened the day before. How can we make it better the next day? We talked about considering new visualization tools. Carefully think it through, but I'm sure there's some ideas that you could come up with to help visualize what's happening in your environment for all the associates to see. Genshi Genbetsu, one of my favorites. Go and see with your own eyes, whether it's in the factory, walk around the office environment. Also visit customers and ask for their input, ask for their ideas. I think you might be surprised with some of the great ideas they'll have to improve either it's your product or your processes. And look for Kaizen opportunities within the office environment. There, there could be some golden nuggets there that will, uh, if, if nothing else, it will make that group of people feel really engaged if you ask for their opinion and work on that project. And culture is king. Culture is king. It's, it's so important to us that recently we started an employee award, and it's called the Toyota Culture Award. And to win that award, though, the employee, the associate, has to be nominated by a fellow associate. And then the, the voters are the other associates. Okay, so it's not a management thing. It's the associates nominating, explaining maybe what that person has done to help with Toyota culture and exemplify Toyota culture. And then everyone votes on it and the winner. The first winner we had, she had tears in her eyes. It was, it was, a, it was a great day and it was a good recognition of the Toyota culture that, uh, that throughout, permeates throughout the company. Okay, and then the, the final takeaway I'd like to leave you is innovation, change, and continuous improvement start at the top at your organization. 
It starts with your leaders. Okay? Remember the photo of the paper towel at the beginning of my presentation? I told you we'd circle back to this. Let me explain to you the significance of this photo. So part of our culture is to treat our facilities, one of our core values, as it's your own home. Treat the facility like it's your own home. So one day I noticed a paper towel on the floor in our office bathroom. So I picked it up and threw it away. A few days later, I walked back in, it's actually in our factory, and I saw another piece of paper towel on the floor. So I didn't pick it up right away. I'm going to try a little something. I lingered for a few minutes in, in the restroom, washed my hands more than I should have, waited around to see if anyone would, would come in, and then a couple people came through. I started combing my hair, which didn't take very long, but I <laughs> pretended to comb my hair. And then I waited more, four or five people started with through, but nobody picked up that paper towel. So I was so disappointed. Everybody walked by and did nothing. That's when I realized I had a duty and an opportunity to drive change. So the next morning, what did I do? At 7.30 in the morning at our meeting, I talked to our operations leader and our team. The word spread really fast how a clean environment was very important to me. And you know what? It's been a long time since I've seen paper towels on our bathroom floors. All right. There's a saying that managers manage, but leaders do the right thing. Leaders know that sometimes the right thing to do is drive change. Nothing gets better if it stays the same. Look at this sign in the stairway of another company. I love it. The most dangerous phrase in the language is, we're always done it this way. This is a great message. So don't just manage as a manager, be a leader. Even if you're not the, the top position of your company, you are an influencer who can drive change. So I hope you learned something today to take back with you. I really enjoyed this opportunity to be with you. And if you ever want to visit our manufacturing facility in Columbus, Indiana, you have an open invitation to come, take a tour anytime. Here's some contact information if you'd like to set that up. If you do visit, I would love to say hello. Let me know if you see any paper towels on our floors, please. And this is actually a picture of our rotunda there in our factory in Indiana. So thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the conference and have a great day. I have a little story to tell on Brett while we were getting ready for the keynote. Uh, Brett saw a little scrap of paper on the floor here and picked it up and I think you put it in your pockets, so thank you, Brett. Uh, uh, I, uh, unfortunately, we're very tight on time. Uh, we need to be transitioning to the next phase. Um, Brett has graciously agreed to stick around and answer any questions, so if you do have questions, please feel free to swarm him uh, as you're exiting the hall here. So next up, we're beginning uh, to transition to our afternoon programming. Uh, please check the slide behind me, check your app, check your paperwork to see what sessions uh, you will be heading to next. I want to emphasize that we've got some really exciting things happening in the ID&E conference this afternoon, including making the most of metal 3D printing. We also have a session on how to embed wireless in the next-gen products and also a session on artificial intelligence. Um, those sessions will be downstairs in room 10 and 11. Uh, just as another note, um, later today, we hope that you will meet us for this special VIP event at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, and this will be happening from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. We're gonna have door prizes, some really cool stuff happening. Um, and we will be providing transportation to the event, to and from the venue. Um, shuttle buses will be leaving from the conference center at the West Main Drive location starting at 6.15. And for those of you who want to get your steps in, uh, it's an easy walk from the convention center over to the Rock Hall. So enjoy your afternoon and uh, thank you again. Take care.